Hi, I'm Tiffany, and I'm with Unihertz. And here, we like to get things done. Right back at you, Tiffany. The Unihertz Titan Pocket finally launched on Kickstarter. And guess what? I made my first Kickstarter purchase. Not the super early bird at 159 but the KS Special was more than a bargain for me at 219 And before it hits my doorstep in September, I wanted to go through all the teasers and share my thoughts. Like a freaking Marvel movie. The specifications are the usual, and by usual, I mean not like any other phone besides Unihertz. The model got a chipset upgrade with the Helio P70 at a lower price compared to its bigger brother, the OG Titan. If you wonder why, the screen durability all took a hit, but with a 3.1 inch 720p screen and lack of water resistance. But still, it's a tough phone though, and I'm interested to see how the aluminum backplate handles scratches. Uh, plus, for those of you interested, they do offer a holster now. Yeah, pretty horrendous, I know. Now, the upside is Unihertz seemed quite confident about its keyboard, releasing a separate video just for the keyboard feel. I don't know, maybe it's because they removed the water resistance coating, but it kinda sounds legit Blackberry. Uh, here. Also, the addition of a function key means you can execute keyboard shortcuts, like cut, copy, and paste. Yeah, it's a new layout, but one could argue this is an even better one. I've been using the original Blackberries for 4 years straight, but I moved on to the passwords keyboard no problem. Hopefully it will be the same here. Just wish the fingerprint scanner served double duty as the trackpad. A hugely missed opportunity there, I think. Now one slight concern is languages. The keyboard supports 10 different languages out of the box, but for people like me who are multilingual, that might not be enough. I asked Unihertz about this, and they did mention to try a third-party keyboard app, though they cannot guarantee it. But I did some research, and since the Titan could use third-party keyboard apps, I'd be well surprised if it didn't work for the Pocket. Keeping my fingers crossed here though. Another concern is the year-old software running on the two-year-old silicon. Unihertz has a history of delivering fairly light Android experiences, so that's nice. Uh, plus the generous 6 gigs of RAM out of health things. What they don't have a history of is regular Android updates. Now I'm okay with this, sorta, especially given that Unihertz is a small company and the 219 asking price. But for those of you who missed out on the early bird deal, I'm not so sure. In the end, we'll just have to wait and see the thing for ourselves. But with no word from Onward Mobility about a new Blackberry, I think this device has a lot going for it. Honestly, I'm more of an OG Titan fan, but the smaller footprint just might allow Unihertz to approach a wider audience of consumers, the BlackBerry fanbase who wants to relive the glory days of bolts and curves. As a keyboard fan, I'm just happy it's here. That's the end of this video. If keyboard smartphones like this are a jam, uh, consider subscribing so you can be notified about the latest news about BlackBerry and Unihertz Titan. And I'll see you in the next one.